I'm a little bit early. Let's see if I can get this where y'all can see it. Hi, Sherry. Go away, Sherry. No, I don't need you. Sherry popped Hi, up. Sherry. Get rid of that. Too many things to remember. Okay. And YouTube is doing a huge lag today. There we go. Okay. Well, it's not too bad. One, two, three. That's not bad. We're cool. We're cool. What you been up to, Miss Sherry? The project today is another experiment. That's why I never perfected anything I ever did was because I like experimenting. This is one of the alcohol inks I did last week, I think, last week, yeah, on Duralar. And here's the front side of it. And I'm going to draw a colored pencil face on the back side. We're going to see how that works. It's really hard getting this where I can see it and you can see it. So we'll see. I'm early, so we'll wait a few minutes. Are you working on anything today? Gotta let my phone catch up a little bit. You can't even see it, can you? <laughs> well, it is almost 70 degrees here today. Hey, Lena, are you up late? It's almost 70 degrees, and I'm in my uh, flannel tights and a, a hoodie. So I turned the fan on in my studio because I was too lazy to go change clothes, and because tomorrow it's supposed to be 30 again. So there you have it. I'm glad you stayed up to see me. I'm just recharging my iPhone a little bit right here. And the cord is hanging like that so I could keep my iPad going, which is what I'm using for my reference. You know how that goes. Oh, I am so tired of losing stuff. There's already a pencil loose in here. There it is. Nope. Try that. Try that. Oh, look at the chat. Goodness, goodness. Hey, Ian. We're doing something non-watercolor today, but I'm going to show you some. Hey, Lori. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. All right. Let's go ahead and start. It's 4 o'clock. Nah, we'll wait a few more minutes because then I'll have to take my phone down. I need it to charge. 
I just noticed something in the screen on my iPad that really bothers me. It looks like it's under the glass, but it looks like kind of like the pixels are messed up or something. And you can only see it when you're sideways. I don't know if it's not one thing. Yep, it's 70 here, 68. Darn, I don't think this is still under warranty. I think it just went out of warranty. I am so careful with my stuff. Oh, well, nothing I can do about it. We're supposed to have cold weather for a week starting tomorrow. All right, is everybody ready to go? Let's go. Um, show you some, some little treats. This is obviously a watercolor. I had forgotten how valuable it is to copy a master's work. And um, this is the kind of stuff that we painted all over Italy and Prague and Salzburg. This is Charles style. So anyway, I, Charles Reed, I thought I would just uh, give it a go. And, you know, it is amazing that you don't have to think what to do where, you know, you could just follow his what to do where and think about how you're putting your colors on. And so anyway, that's, that's what I did the other day. Put that up there. And let's see, last night I did some background jelly prints. And I think I was doing it when somebody was filming, so um, I didn't film it. This is done with alcohol. Let's see if I can get it up where you can see it. Alcohol on the plate, which allows brush strokes to show. So it's just for backgrounds. You can see some in here. Those kind of marks you don't get with regular acrylic. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. That one turned out kind of monotone, but that's okay for what I want them for. And this is on the exam paper. I know my phone's hanging right in your way. I was trying to give it a little boost. <clears throat> Movies eat up a lot of power. Anyway, there's that one. That's a paper towel from my peanut butter lunch. Basically, these used um, Black Flash, the folk art color shifts, and the blue, I think, is from some Prussian blue. Here's almost totally Black Flash. I see some bronze in there. That would be golden iridescent bronze. Aren't these fun? See those brush strokes and the way they fall in there? You can't get that. You can't get there from here. But using a little al alcohol on the plate lets you hold those brush strokes. There's no place to stop when you start doing these. This one's nice. Um, this one's got a little bit of celadon green added and a little golden teal. And the really neutral ones have um, Dick Blick celadon, matte acrylic, and the iridescent bronze, and the um, black flash, and some of the uh, quinacridone nicolazzo. 
really get some neat marks. Those will be fun in my journal, which I've got to get back to because I've been playing on other stuff. And these are the ones I did that were on, uh, oh, Judy called it something special. It's legal paper. It is cotton or partially cotton. And it's, I don't know, it's done for something special in the legal field. But look how nice those strokes kept their mark. Almost the same, but that's fine. Got some good stuff going in there. That was an oops, but that doesn't matter. Here's one on the tissue paper that everybody likes. I'm looking at the chat. Okay. See how cool that is? That'd be great in a collage. Looks like a landfill in here. Look at this one. It's got a little bit of bronze in it. And this was when I was trying to clean off my big plate. And I got some great stuff here, here on the edge. Just gunk, just trying to keep it. There's even some pinks and look at this. Is that cool or what? Well, my camera's focusing great today. And this one. I still got some more on the plate. But the next time I get it out, I'm going to take some packing tape and just get the rest of that fussy stuff off. Now, I decided that I was going to do color pencil on Yupo. Uh, that's not bad right there. I know it's not square. I like things to be square to the camera. So I pulled out a couple that I thought would be good backgrounds for portraits. But this one won. And this is the back of the one I did on Duralar last week. This is going to be here. I mean, I can come back in and, and alter some of these dark areas if I want to. But I can do the face over here. And you can't see the face. Let me show you the face. I've got it up on a stand. Here's the face. So the the um, bright side of her face is, I've got it flipped. Um, oh, wait, that is flipped. Her face will be right here, and then this will bleed off into the darkness, or in this case, the purples. Okay? Any questions? Hey, Cheryl, I haven't seen your name before. Welcome. I'm not even going to try to say your name. Or I said, Cheryl, Sherry, Cheryl. I'm seeing double with my glasses. All right. So the back side of Duralar, and it's 0 0.005, it's translucent. And I'm going to use my polychromos. Part of me just wants to put all these in a great big old jar together. Um, first thing I'm going to do is greens. I've already got this sketched out a little bit. I can barely see it. Here's her eye. You'll be able to see it here in a little bit. Take my glasses off and maybe I can see. And this may be boring. I'm doing real good at picking out boring subjects lately. Thank you. 
and watch her appear before your eyes. Ooh, this is like working on velvet. Just gonna get these darks in. And the cool thing is, if I don't like what's showing through from the back, I can remove it. I thought about doing that with the part that would be right under her face, but I decided that I would do her first and then do, then do that. What I'm doing here is a form of grisaille. Grisaille with gray and verdaccio, and I'm not saying that right, is Italian for green. And in oil painting, you do this. Ooh. So that you can glaze. And of course, my nose starts running. Beginning to see her come out. Nose blow. Check chat. The crusty bit queen, I like that. Oh, good. Now, Lori did a, I mean, um, Lena did a great um, stream today. I'm doing a face CB. It'll show up here in a minute. This whole side of her face is in shadow. Here's her nose, her mouth, her eyes. I 
Um, and I'm doing it on the back of one of the alcohol inks I did on Duralore. And I'm doing the face on top of that. Hard for me to see it. Just doing some sloppy cross hatching over here because that part is in shadow. I love doing this technique in oil because it's very soothing and relaxing and you don't have to worry about colors. All you have to worry about is the, is the degree of darkness. This will either be really cool or gross. And y'all know me by now. I'm kind of like Lena. In fact, I've decided that I may DHD. Seriously. I could spend hours researching something that's not even important. But it's important to me at the time. And if I just stuck to one form of art, I'd be further along than I am. But, you know, that's how that goes. I have no idea how much Duralar will hold in terms of layers. I also tested it on... Uh, on the Yupo. Well, there'll be time for fine tuning that here in a little bit. Yeah, keep losing my place. And her neck is right here. 
All right, I'm going to get some darks in here now. Mainly so you guys can see what's going on. I would really stop and smell the roses as I did this if uh, y'all weren't here. I would take my time and savor the process. Eyes are real easy when you only have to do one. There. She has an eye. And it is, of course, crooked. That's my that's my thing. And I know I do it and I keep doing it. Okay, let's go on. I said I don't need the black anymore for right now. I'm basically now just putting some layers on. Okay, are y'all able to see her now? I'm really being light with my touch.
putting on some yellow ochre. This is like silk to work on. Okay, chat, chat, let me see what y'all can see. Oh, she's beginning to come out. Um, no bath, it's just colored pencil. Oh, I'm so, well, I didn't mean to sound ugly. Um, it's just another surface to do stuff on. And I don't do enough with my colored pencils to justify having them. And I'm going to use the white and the polychromos. I understand that the Prismacolor is better. That's cold gray. I don't really want cold gray. But since I'm working transparent. That's a warm. No, that's it. It's kind of a warm white. I don't know if it's going to show up, but we're going to try. I don't know it's there. Feel something. Oh, it must be its texture on the back, I guess. Crossing down a little bit here. Another white spot is right over here. I'm using Polychromos by Faber-Castell. And by putting these lights on here right now will make me stay away from them, maybe. And that's a spot where I can always go on the back side and grab a little bit of that off where I want the whites. And we 
we've got some right here. At this point, I'm working in shapes, not from a drawing. My drawing's just there to hit me. I can draw, I, I can paint a face by just looking at the model. But doing it like this, I needed to have something. And there's that. Now I need a cad red. I am layering colors instead of reaching for a mixed color. Excellent practice. So I did a green underpainting because green will neutralize the warmer colors of the face. So it's my favorite to use. And then the yellow ochre and the crimson or the cad red is how I like to make my skin tones with white, of course. And white's going to be a little problematic on this one, but we'll work through it. Taking pains to stay away from the areas that I want to make white. You can see the difference where this orangey red is over a very light area 
And when it's over the yellow ochre that I put on, there's a difference to its color. Got to plug that back in. Okie dokie, take that, oh, I was, I'm going to take that white out while I'm there. And just for fun, I'm going to throw in this purpley, bluish color, which isn't going to show very much. But I'll know it's there. This um, Duralar paper is fairly inexpensive. I think I got a roll of it for $20, maybe. I also got a pad with sheets. Now she's looking like she's got a patch over her eye. Okay. And the red and blue are going to kind of make a purple. Okay. Uh, I'm a potty mouth around here, but I'm not with you guys. Hey, Judy. Y'all know I dropped the F-bomb in a YouTube video. It's my most watched video. What what's to me? I do that. There it is. Watch to me, Joycey. These are polychromos by uh, Barbara Crestel. <laughs> I 
Lena has everything. Lena and Vaughn have everything. Makes me look like a poor stepchild. Um, it's here. Let me show you. Duralar, and it's made by Graphics, G R A F I X. And this roll was is twenty inches by twelve inches. Well, that's not as big as I thought it was. Sure looks bigger than that. Oh well, like I said, it's not expensive. That paper, like Lena was using today, is so ex well not expensive. On the higher end of expensive, and if I had that, I wouldn't use it. I save it. That's stupid. Stupid, stupid. Okay, got it. 0 0.005, and it is translucent. Um, they're both. Mm, it's kind of like a vellum. Vellum these days is more of a paper finish than it is a type of paper. Um, I don't have any Albert Dewar in colored pencil, but sure, any pencil. It is very similar to Upo. It's got a little more tooth to it. See how the alcohol inks acted pretty much the same way that they do on Upo, and it's a hell of a lot cheaper. It is. It's like satin. <laughs> Cat lady in a bunch of balloons. Oh, man. Yeah, this is this is uh, alcohol ink on the back side and colored pencil on the front. And anytime I can go back and I can clean that area underneath and bring back some lights. Oh, and parchment paper. Wait a minute. Parchment paper can run through your inkjet printer and make good prints. <laughs> Uh, you can't meet me. Oh, I was going to tell you all my rat story since Lena brought that up this morning. Um, let me think where I am here. I lived, I owned a house that I, I loved. It was, it was my favorite house. 100 years old, kind of a four square type. I'm just putting a little color down here. So it was 100 years old. And of course, with 100 year old houses, you have problems. And Sarah was just a baby. She had just started sleeping in a big bed. And I always made sure that that I put out a cushion under the bed in case she rolled out. And uh, made sure all the stuffed animals were picked up so that neither one of us would trip over them in the middle of the night. And hall light was on. I checked on her just before I went to bed and I saw something laying in the floor. So I thought, well, damn it. I thought I got all those. Well, as it turns out, it was a rat. I went over to pick it up thinking it was a stuffed animal. The damn thing was still warm. Now I'm in a panic because ordinarily I would call the police, but I have an 18 month old child or two month old, two year old laying there asleep, and there's rat in her room. I about died. So I got it up and picked that thing up and threw it out in the hallway and then just absolutely had a panic attack, called somebody and said, you won't believe what I found. Well, as it turns out, there's more than one, and this house had a basement. Um, that's a pretty mauve color. 
and it had an open um, sump pump with water in it. So they were coming in to get water. And um, the people who had it before had told me that they had actually put rat traps out for them under the house and they dragged the traps off. So then started paying attention and they would run through the walls of this old house from the downstairs to the upstairs. It sounded like a race track. You could just hear them scuttling. Now I don't I still don't know to this day how that rat got in there. So I called the exterminator and they came out and did some treatments or whatnot. And about a week later, we started smelling something that was absolutely horrendous. And one morning, Sarah came out and came in my room. She had on her footed pajamas. And she said, look, Mama, there's bugs out in the hallway and they're dancing. And so she was holding her hands up in, in, the, in the, holding her hands up over her head, her arm up over her head, and was trying to dance. And they were maggots. Oh, my God. So called the exterminator again. They never came back. Eventually, they wore themselves out. Ah, oh, that was my rat story. And then Randy moved in with us. And he pretty well got rid of them, but... <laughs> I'd be, I'd be like Lena in the garden. Okay, that's enough with the purple. Some of these are seem to be softer than others. That one's not trying, wanting to write at all. Okay, you go back. These are not traditional colors. It's just whatever I feel like doing. Look, got that same color. I don't care how many colors you have, you still want more. When the light hits a curved surface, like here on the nose, there is a little rim light of almost pure red right there. That That's what that's for. You're saying that's green. I know it's not. Well, that pencil went down in the faucet, so it's not, it didn't find the hole where my neos are. 
you can tell I'm just screwing around. That was that one. And here's more of a yellow ochre. It's not going to make much difference, though. Oh, it is a warm guard. I'm talking to myself here. This is why I can't work on colored pencils in front of the tie by. Here's the white. Okay, now I'm, I'm experimenting here, so don't hold me to anything being right. I've got alcohol on my Q-tip, and I want a white area. And I've got some silver right there, so that is never going to come up. In fact, none of it's coming up real well. That's interesting. Maybe the texture of the Duralar. Yep, it helps. Yay. It worked. Cool. Okay, now let's get back to work. Get your lazy ass back to work. Okay, y'all still seeing it. Let's go back to this white now and see if... See, that's the silver going through. But I can always come under here and put some white or a facsimile of white um, alcohol ink. That line right there is from my drawing. Okay, let's work on that eye and make it better. She's got some blue going. Uh -oh. Poppy went fishing, so I don't know if that's him or not. Shadow from the eyelid. 
a little red right here. And a shadow from the ball on the sides. It is a ball. The eye is a ball. She may have green eyes. Now I'm getting a little blue. Can't cover up quite as easy. Because I got her eyes too big. And I've heard that the um, what's that other brand I have? Not polychromos. That their white is better. Spin, 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 spin. I try to put the eye in as soon as I can. I just grabbed one. Let's see if it works. What made one mark just perfect and now it doesn't want to make any. There it goes. Spins, spins, spins. I have no idea what this pin is. Oh, well, nobody knows her, so it doesn't matter what her eyes are. I need to drink water. This could be done at any time. I've got some Indian watercolor I haven't used yet. Well, I got both roaches and, I mean, uh, rats and maggots, but no roaches. No, not pre, not, not Prismas. I have a set of those somewhere. I think they're with the Neos.
Is it Prismacolors white that's better? Well, we'll see. One of them really covers, and that's what I want. Always open the back side. Luminance. So let's just see what we can do. If they're any different. One is oil based and one is not. Here's the white. Yeah, this one is working just a hair better. Now you can get some blue in there because you wrote into the eye. So these do work a little bit better on coverage. Now yeah, I've got to get a little bit of white back. Well, poop. Well, when you need a white pen, you can't get one to work. I'm going to use that white again from the luminance set. This is really fun. Not as forgiving as soft pastels or watercolor for that matter. Okay, check, check.
The white wand stops after trying. And because black is made of a rich black is made up of other colors. You can just layer three or four dark colors and you'll have a beautiful black. That's real dark in there. These um, luminance may be better on this paper. Look at how the shoulder could have been right there. Oh, hair. Forgot about hair. Either pencil, it's just working like butter. It's still taking pigment, this paper, I mean. All right, now for fun. This is the Prismacolor 
this has acetone blender. Maybe just about dried out. I've refilled it once. Might be removing a little bit of it. I think it did. Let's see what the blending pencil from Prismacolor does. Okay, that's enough of that. Now let's do uh, I should have addressed the hair sooner. So let's try that white. Not worth a poop. Let me get the Prisma color white. Hang on. See, if Kimberly hadn't made me clean up my office, I wouldn't be able to get this one. Here's all my play Prismas. I mean, play colors. And I've got enough room in one of these buckets for, oh, there's another chart back room. That's probably the one I refilled. Yeah, let's see. Alrighty, one, one way to skin a cat. If I could get the pin right. Probably help if I used them more often. Come 
I'm shaking it real hard. Anybody got any words of advice? Yeah, sun kiss tan. Are they diet carbs, Lena? Well, Vicky wants this white to work. See, the sad thing is, if I had just picked one thing, what else do I have? I know I got something. I'm getting too fat to get through the studio. Delusions. Paint pans. Gonna do that trick. Oh, okay, I'll figure it out in a minute. Come on, Nelly. Well, meanwhile, maybe cross fingers. Finally. This is a fix it, folks, because I've left it too long. I fixed it, fixed it, fixed it, fixed it. Oh. Well, that doesn't work because that scratches it off. Oh, my beer. I'll be right back. I'm in the Pascal station.
Ta da! Get them fixed the way I want them sooner or later. Let's see. Like I have a choice. Nope. Took some of it. Ah, uh, this is the side where I put the acetone. That might be why. If I had my stuff right here, my fixative. Y'all still with me? If I can't put my hands on it in one, two, I don't have any handy. It's probably in the floor with my Neos. Let's see.
Now, if I had my Spectre fix handy, that would fix that. Now, she needs some real darky dark hair. Funny, some pencils work great and some don't. Not at all. And that is that one. No, wait. Here's this one. All right. I think I have to say that the Whatever these are, luminance are better. On this paper now, keep in mind. Another paper is going to give you a different result. Well, I started out with a pretty good uh, um, amount of space here, and now I'm down to none. I could work a little bit more right there, but I'm not going to. Let me see what time it is before I let y'all go. That looks funky. Looks like. Oh, I know what it is. That's the funky part. I'm out of drawing.
I think I'm done. I think I've said everything I have to say to this painting. I'm not real good at things that I can't edit as I go. Silver Point, I guess, would fall into that category. I wish I could get some softer edges right here. Now that helps a little. Scratching off color. All right, let's see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, when they work. Hey, down in the south, we say, hold my beer and watch this shit. <laughs> um, thanks, everybody. Oh, you know what? I need to add. You have to push down when you're using them. good enough for my journal. Come on. Can you tell I have no patience? Whoops. Hey, Matt, I love him. Up. Right on anything, huh? There. Well, it's not like in this surface. Of course, I am white pin challenged, so there's some. Look, I got a drop. <laughs> oh, man. I think I better put the white pen <clears throat> up. This is kind of not working right. Because if you were going to do this, it should look like these are on top of her. That's just weird looking there. Which side do you like best?
Let me see if I can keep my iPad from going completely dead. Now that one's got low battery. Okay, guys. I will see you next time. Thursday, I think, will be my next. So I will see you then. Athens. Didn't see you. Tell me about it on Thursday, Beth. I'm going to go. Bye. See y'all later. I had fun. I hope you did.